Kalalal, Yahoo, Bashem, Yahoo, Shai, Brakata, Yahoo, Brakata, Yahoo, Shai. Double honors to the apostles of GMS, from Apostle Tar, Apostle Kabar, Apostle Rhyme, Laban Down. Salutations to the hopeful elect, pushing this word in sincerity and in truth in the four corners of the earth. All right, this is the brother Kabash from the GMS Jamaica camp. Um, this, this, this is a very, very short um, video in response to um, the Apostle Tahar's um, recent breakdown of Genesis chapter 2. You know, he said um, if brothers have any um, response videos, you know, they could, you know, do a video. Um, this this um, breakdown or this lesson is in sp specifically in respect of Genesis chapter 2 verse 7, verse 7, speaking about the um, breath of life. I'm just going to um, add another um, dimension to the breakdown of this um, this verse. You know, hopefully it will be edifying um, to the acumen out there. You know, like I said, it's going to be a very, very short lesson. So let me just get right into it. Uh, Genesis 2 verse 7 and the Lord and the Lord powers Yahweh's powers for a man of the dust of the ground and we know that means confusion and breathed into his nostrils the breath of life and man became a living soul now as the, the apostle Tar bro, um, broke down this um this breath of life that was breathed into Adam is wisdom right I will, I'm, I'm going to bring out another example seeing of um of somebody else breathing seeing on someone else are breathing into are breathing wisdom into someone else right so let me just um get straight to it this is saint john let me just bring put it up here in a second guys all right this is john John 20 and 22. All right, this is St. John 20 and verse 22. And when he has said this, he breathed on them, talking about Yahweh Shai, when he was, um, after he was resurrected, when he was speaking to the, um, to, the, to, the, to the disciples, he said, and when he had said this, when he had said this, he breathed on them and said unto them, receive ye the Holy Spirit. Now, um, it's a, this is the same action that Yahweh, did with um with adam breathed on adam and he became a living soul so at this point you know yahweh shai which is the son of the heavenly father you know the first begotten of the heavenly father breathing on the apostles to give them the holy spirit which we know is wisdom knowledge and understanding right so we're going to delve into that word breathed on or breathe right to see if we, if, uh, if we can get any meat from it all right so to that we're going to go to the um the blue letter bible app right and this is um the verse here saint john 20 and 22 all right, let's, let's look up the word breathed on. All right, let me just um, play it out here. Strong's G, 1720, Mfusau. 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 All right, it says um, to blow or breathe upon. And then it has a note here. I'm not sure if the brother can see it, but um, let me read it. It says, the Greek word used here is employed nowhere else in the New Testament, but is the very one used in the Septuagint, which is the Greek translators of, um, of Genesis chapter 2, verse 7. And the Lord powers formed man of the dust of the ground and breathed into his nostril the breath of life, and man became a living soul. Right? So the, the, the Septuagint translators knew the meaning of the text, that it wasn't literal. Right, that's why they use the same Greek word here in Genesis chapter 2, in Genesis chapter 2, verse 7, and in um, St. John 20 and verse 22. Right, it continues to say that their man's original creation was completed by the act, by this act of Yahweh, who then who then can fail to see that here in St. John 20, on the day of the Savior's resurrection, the new creation had begun by the head of the new creation, the last Adam acting as a quickening spirit. Right? And and to an extent that's correct. All right, so the first, the, fir the first Adam, you know, the first Adam, which was was, was um of the ground, right? He came to life, given wisdom by the heavenly Father, by the heavenly Father breathing on him, right? And the last Adam, you know, which is a quickening spirit, gave that same that, that same um, um wisdom, knowledge, and understanding to his apostles, right? Yeah, which we have today, right? Let's just um go into the um the, the, the lexicon to look at it, All right? It says we're where Yahweh Shai, after the manner of the Hebrew prophets, right, so this is something that the Hebrew prophets did, after the manner of the Hebrew prophets expresses 
by the symbolic act of breathing upon the apostles the communication of the Holy Spirit to them, having in view the primary meaning of the word rawak, right? And when and if the brothers um don't know what the word rawak means, it means um spirit, right? But the primary meaning is wind or breath, right? So here Yahweh Shai symbolized the act of communicating the Holy Spirit, which we know is wisdom, knowledge, and understanding, to the um the, the apostles, right? So it's the same way Yahweh um Yahweh breathing on Adam is a symbolic act of giving him wisdom, knowledge, and understanding, right? And it, it gives a perfect example here. This is Ezekiel 37 verse 5. Right? And um, the, the apostle brought it out to, just for edification's sake. You know, for this video, I'll bring it out again. Alright, this is Ezekiel 37 and verse 5. Thus saith the Lord power unto these bones. Behold, I will cause breath to enter in you, and ye shall live. Alright? Let's look up that word um, breath in the blue letter Bible. Alright? Ezekiel 37. Alright, and I will cause breath. So here we go. It's a Hebrew word, wawak. It means wind, breath, mind, spirit. Alright, so the primary meaning is actually wind or breath. Alright, but the, the, the applied meaning, right, the symbolic meaning is mind or spirit. Right, and it goes down to say spirit at that which as that which breathe quickly in animation or agitation, spirit, animation, vivacity, vigor. Right, and it goes down to say um spirit of the living, breathing being in man and animals, which is you know the internal person, you know, as gift preserved by Yahweh, Yahweh's spirit departing at death, right? Spirit as a seat of emotion, which is your mind, you know. Spirit as seat of organ of mental acts, also mind, rarely of the will, as seat especially of moral character, right? And then again it says the spirit of Yahweh, the third person of the uh, of the triune, um, the Holy Spirit, right? So these um the, these dry bones in Ezekiel chapter thirty seven and verse five, right, was were receiving the Holy Spirit, and that represents um the Israelites today waking up back um, to the truth, to the hundred percent truth. You know, so it says, Therefore, thus saith Lord power unto these bones, Behold, I will cause breath to enter into you, and ye shall live. All right, let's just get one last example before we close off. This is um, Job 27, verse 3. All the while my breath is in me, and the spirit of Yahweh is in my nostrils. Now, if you look up the word um, breath in me here, it's a different Hebrew word from, from, from the spirit, from the Hebrew word for spirit, all right, showing you that the um, Job was communicating two different acts. He was saying that my breath is in me, meaning your physical breath that you're breathing in and out to live. And the spirit of God is in my nostrils, meaning he had wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. Right? He was a man of integrity, as the scripture tells you. Right? So Job was telling you that even though, you know, along with the breath that made him human, that made him alive, he also had wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. Right? So just to um to recap, you know, the lesson. Um, St. John 20 and verse 22 And when he had said this, Yahweh Shai He breathed on them and said unto them Receive ye the Holy Spirit And this, this word, this Greek word breathed on Is the same Greek word used in Genesis chapter 2 verse 7 You know Where the Lord breathed on Adam And man became a living soul Right, so You know, with that you know, I hope I hope this lesson was edifying. I hope this you know adds to the the, the Akim's understanding of of um of this this verse. You know, so with that we say um shalom.